The St. Bernard is a very recognisable breed due to its famously large size and loving looks. These gentle giants are devoted companions, loyal to their family and kind in nature. In today's video, we'll be comparing this loving breed with the Kangal. The Kangal, bred as a shepherd's companion and a guardian of livestock, are strong-willed and loyal in nature. Welcome back to the Fenrir St. Bernard Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the St. Bernard. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect St. Bernard. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future St. Bernard video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The St. Bernard and the Kangal have very different histories and origins. There is actually a lot of myth and legend surrounding the St. Bernard's history, but it is believed that these large dogs originated in Switzerland and were used in the Alps as search and rescue dogs. Traditionally, St. Bernard's were thought to have originated in a monastery hospice in the Swiss Alps in the 11th century. But the breed's first verifiable appearance at the monastery, or anywhere else for that matter, was around 600 years later. So there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding which has given space for myths and legends to be created about these dogs. Many researchers and experts believe that they were first intended as watchdogs at the monastery, but as they started to show their incredible rescue abilities, they were then used as mountain search and rescue dogs. To this day, monks still have a St. Bernard as a companion in the monastery, is simply out of tradition. The Kangal is a, is a Turkish shepherd dog that is thought to have had ancestors that date back 6,000 years. It is believed that tribes from Central Asia brought the first mastiff type dogs into the area, now known as Turkey. And sight hounds bred from southern regions are believed to have contributed to the Kangal's agility and tall appearance. Due to the climate of the area and rural terrain, the locals were dependent on their flocks of sheep to live. The Kangal, as a breed, was a protector of sheep and the shepherds themselves, staying with them through night and day, running quickly from one side to a scattered flock to another and standing up to large and strong wild predators. Intense breeding of only the best working dogs resulted in a very uniform dog with an incredible ability in protecting the flocks. They would protect the flocks with their lives against large wild animals, making them very desired in the area. The Kangal is an impressive sized dog breed with males standing up to 29 to 32 inches and females standing at 28 to 31 inches tall at the shoulder. Males tend to weigh around 110 to 150 pounds and females weigh between 80 to 120 pounds. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know if you're not following us on Instagram already, we are doing tons of helpful, valuable content over there that I'm sure you'll love. We've got a couple of different pages that I think you'll really enjoy. First is our Fenrir business account where we do loads of stuff about training, some of our product services and just what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis building the fastest growing canine company in the world and maybe you'd be interested in checking out my personal Instagram that's at I am Will Afferton. Again if you're interested there'll be links in the description. Sorry for interrupting the video I'll let you get straight back to it. Mayo St. Bernard stand at 28 to 30 inches at the shoulder and weigh 140 to 180 pounds whilst females are 26 to 28 inches and weigh 120 to 140 pounds too. The St. Bernard's coat can be found as two different variations, short haired and long haired. The short haired coat is smooth but very dense and is slightly bushy on the thighs with the long haired tail that becomes shorter towards the end. Then the long haired coat has a slight wave to it and the forelegs have feathering while the thighs and tail are very bushy. St. Bernard's can be a variety of shades of red with white or white with red and patches and markings on the dog can differ between individuals. The signature dark markings on the St. Bernard's head and ears resembling a mask are extremely desirable to many saint lovers. You should brush your St. Bernard a few times each week in order to remove loose hair and keep their coats looking healthy. The Kangal has a short, dense and weatherproof coat with a thick undercoat. It's flat and lays closely to the skin with a slightly longer area on the neck, shoulders and tail. They range from cream through to fawn or steel grey with a dark or black mask and ears. They have a small amount of white on the chest, toes and chin and occasionally a black or white tip on the tail. As with a lot of larger and purebred dog breeds, the St. Bernard can be more prone to certain health conditions. 
The St. Bernard can struggle with hip and elbow dysplasia, eye problems, epilepsy, heart conditions, allergies and stomach issues. The Kangal is also prone to various health conditions including hip and elbow dysplasia, glandular conditions and eye problems. Although the Kangal was bred to protect, they're not actually an aggressive breed by nature, but they can be quite stubborn and slightly territorial. They have a steady temperament and are naturally independent and highly intelligent, which means they can sometimes be tricky to train as they're happy to do their own thing. Consistency is key when training such a strong-willed and independent breed. They're loyal to their owners and with lots of early socialisation, they can be much more confident and friendly when it comes to meeting unfamiliar dogs and strangers, which is important when having this dog as a pet. The St. Bernard is famously known as the gentle giant and that honestly could not be closer to the truth. They're kind and gentle natured dogs with a loving and affectionate personality with plenty of patience for all family members, especially children. They love their families and being given lots of attention, but they're not massively demanding in that way. They're friendly and welcoming dogs with a steady, kind and careful temperament. St. Bernards are very aware and in tune with their owners and their surroundings. Their affectionate personality can mean that these big dogs forget just how big they are when they're focused on getting love and affection from their human companion. They will still try to get on your lap for a cuddle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated St. Bernard videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenris St. Bernard Show.